You've also talked a lot about leadership. And one of the things you say is that is the world needs more courageous political leaders. Yeah. And you mentioned three that are, quote, you know, moving the needle, so to speak. Uh, ones you mentioned, the Pope, yeah. um, uh, Chinese President Xi Jinping, and, and Vladimir Putin. In Xi Jinping's case, as well as Putin's case, not in the right direction. Uh, but the point is, they are strategic leaders uh, with uh, very strong views uh, that are, you know, by and large, uh, almost unopposed in what they want to do right now. And I think it's a very, I think both of them in that regard are very dangerous. The Pope uh, is the right kind of leader, a courageous leader, because I think he's well grounded. I think he's focused on the right things, particularly the people throughout the world uh, who don't have as much as those of us who are fortunate. Uh, and that we need, from a leadership standpoint, globally, to figure out how to to support them and their future and a better way of life. The other positive leaders, if you will, I just don't see who they are. I don't know who's moving the needle in the positive direction. And somebody's got to do that. And historically, there's always been a handful, whether it was uh, Mandela or Thatcher or people like that, that are sort of in the moment that moved it in the right direction. And I worry a great deal that they're not out there right now. But sometimes great leaders are incremental leaders, that they're maybe <clears throat> just nudging it. And so they're not as Eisenhower, for instance, uh, is, was viewed to be more transactional in style as well as an incremental leader. Um, are, are those not to be desired? Is it something that you want You want to see somebody who's a little more revolutionary in their thinking um, to challenge the status quo? I think I think, uh, I guess, you know, another leader that I've got a lot of time for is Merkel in Germany because, mm -hmm. first of all, she built up a lot of political capital and then I give her a great deal of credit for being courageous to cash that in against this refugee crisis, which she did, which almost cost her her political future. If you're going to build up the capital, please use it. Uh, and I just don't see a lot of courageous individuals who are willing to cash that in. It is, in recent times, last 15, 20 years for me, seemingly this, this uh, uh, unwillingness to, to expose yourself politically in a way to get the right thing done that I don't see. I'm not just talking about here, I'm talking about globally. Uh, but right now, in a world that is challenged as we are, and being pushed, in my view, in the wrong direction by Xi Jinping and Putin, somebody's got to push back.